morning friends and happy Monday. Uh, this morning, Brian left um, really early because there was a an, um, there was an accident that caused the road to close down over the mountain, and so he had to leave a little bit earlier today um, to go all the way around to get to um, his office where he's training a couple of guys today and tomorrow. Um, so. Anyway, I left shortly after he did um, to run to Walmart really quick because I needed to pick up a few things that we needed and a few things that I probably didn't need. Um, but isn't that just the way that it always goes? Anywho, um, and now that I'm back, I'm going to show you guys a few things that I picked up and then I'm going to get started cleaning up my room, obviously taking the sheets off because today is Monday. So I'm stripping the sheets off of my bed, putting fresh sheets on. And then um, the other main thing that I want to get done today is I need to clean the upstairs. Um, I need to actually like clean off the stairs as well, uh, vacuum those. And then I spilled popcorn the other day up there and I need to get that cleaned up and then I need to clean out the popcorn machine as well because there's popcorn in there from a couple of days ago and I need to get that cleaned out of there so um, first things first let me show you guys what I bought at Walmart um, <clears throat> this clock is actually going in my makeup room Disney room whatever I was really wanting to try to find a Disney clock but I could I can't find one anywhere and the ones that are on Amazon I don't like so this will have to do until I can find the right Disney clock that I want. So this was like four bucks. So I'm just going to go hang this in that room back there. Uh, I picked up a toothbrush because I noticed that mine in the shower, the um, head of it is breaking off. I picked up some new mascara because I want to give this a try. This is the CoverGirl Waterproof Hydro Fudge. Hydro Fudge. Does it say Hydro Fudge? Hydrofuge, not fudge. <laughs> Um, color, color girl exhibit, exhibitionishness. Okay, I'm not, I'm done. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try that. And then I saw this really pretty palette by Revlon. I just thought this was super pretty. I thought I would give this a try because I love all of those colors. Aren't those like the prettiest colors? And those are like my colors. Super pretty. Um, these are little bowls by Pioneer Woman, and I just fell in love with these. I thought they were so cute. So I got two of the, like, yellow and orange, and then two of the uh, blue and orange, and I thought these would be super cute for whatever. Um, like, you know, when we do a breakfast and stuff in the morning, Brian always puts his eggs, like, on the counter, and I'm like, just don't. Just put them in a little bowl, and I'll just empty them later or whatever. But nonetheless, they can be used for whatever I want them to be used for, and they're just cute, so I got them. Uh, this is my Renew Life Extra Care Probiotic. I have, like, two left in my bathroom drawer, so I needed to pick up another one of these. I picked up some Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash because I am about out of my body wash, and although I have a ton of body wash, like, in my stash, I just wanted something different. So I really do need to shop my stash though, but I just kind of wanted something different. So I picked up the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. Uh, Brian was totally out of his as well. So I picked up the Harry's. We really like this one. He really liked this one before. I did not get the Redwood for him before. This one is a Redwood. I just thought we would try this one and it smells good. Um, <clears throat> this is just another bottle of my D3. I always like to make sure that I have enough on stash because I know I hear a lot of people like saying that they're going and getting it. And last time I was there, they didn't have any. So I'm like, I need to make sure that I have this all the time in my house and ready when I need it, when my other one is gone. So anyway, got that. Um, <clears throat> and then I picked up two, or excuse me, three things of shampoo. Um, these one, is, this one is the Birch Bark Extract. This is the shampoo and conditioner combo. And then this is just a conditioner because I am out of conditioner in uh, this fragrance, which is the Argan Oil. So um, this is just a few things that I picked up at Walmart today. And I'm going to put a battery, excuse me, in this and get this hung up and put in place where I need it in my bedroom back there. And right now I'm actually going to go to the, my, my bedroom right now and... Um, 
take the sheets off the bed and uh, get the day started. So I have the house to myself all day today, which is super, super nice. I actually also had a nail appointment today and I canceled it and I rescheduled it for next Monday because it really just didn't need to be done right now. So I just kind of pushed it out a little bit longer. So one more week and we should be good and I can get my nails done. And then tomorrow I'm having lunch with my friend Moni. And then um, I don't know what really what the rest of the week holds. I kind of forgot. I have it written down on my calendar over there. But let's stop talking and uh, let's start cleaning and um, stripping my bed and doing all of the Monday normal things that I do. The normal Monday things. So yeah, let's do that. morning friends and happy Tuesday today I am meeting a friend today I am meeting a friend at Chewy's Tex-Mex here in town and uh, I've never been to Chewy's before so I'm excited to try their food and because today is Taco Tuesday I will be getting tacos today and I'm very very excited about that um, I also am going to run into Ulta which is right next door to the place well it's in the same plaza as that place and uh, I need to go get um, more of my like eyeliner not eyeliner um oh I don't even remember what it's called but I know I have to get some <laughs> Um, so how are you guys? How have you guys been? Um, Saturday I went and picked up my glasses at uh, Lens Crafters, my sunglasses, my prescription sunglasses, and what a world of difference it has made. Oh my goodness. The only problem is they feel weird. Like they're, they're, they're not crooked at all, but they feel feel crooked on my face so maybe my face is crooked but um anyway they fit so nicely and they help so much when I'm obviously driving the only thing is that they're is that they're polarized and because they're polarized I can't read like things on my phone like if I pick up my phone right now like I can't read anything on my phone it's very very blurry but I can take my glasses off and read that way which defeats the whole purpose of being able to read with glasses on correct but Obviously, I'm not supposed to be using my phone while I'm driving anyway, but that's not why I, that's not why I was doing that. But um, if I squint, 
I can actually read. So I think that's funny. But yeah, I'm excited to have lunch with her today. And then I think Brian and I are also going um, to dinner tonight. Well, we're not gonna have like a huge dinner. We're just gonna grab a bite out because we have to go out and grab him some stuff for his office. Um, for his, oh, I think I love this song. Yeah, Lana Ritchie. Um, for his office, like he needs to get Mountain Dews, he needs to get Cokes and something else. He said coffee. That's what he said too. So, um, this little shirt that I have on, it is super, super cute. It is like a little sleeveless shirt. It's supposed to be a high of like 65 today, 68 tomorrow. I am here for the warm weather, y'all. Um, but anyway, I got this on Amazon. I love it. I will link it in the description box below. I also got a very light pink one as well. And I am so excited to wear these this summer because I know they're gonna be just like so nice and cool and not hot. And that's what I'm all about is not being hot. I don't care how fat my arms are. I'm still gonna wear a sleeveless shirt. My arms could be flapping in the wind, y'all, and I'm still gonna wear this sleeveless shirt. They finally put the sold sign up across the street for those houses, and um, that one over there sold too. They finally put them across the street. Oh, I'm also gonna go get my car washed today, so that's what I'm gonna do. They're finally bricking that house, the uh, the top part of that house as well. They're finally bricking it, so which is really really nice. Huh. I curled my hair today. I just kind of. I felt like being fancy. <coughs> Excuse me. So I curled my hair today. Um, so yeah. All right, so car wash uh, and Ulta. So, and then Chewy's. So that's where we're going. Felt like I had to cut her short because I got like sick to my stomach after I eat. Good old IBS didn't fail me today. Oh, so tired of having IBS. It's like I can go and have a good day and eat and enjoy food, and the next day I can be like completely sick and have to go to the bathroom. It's so freaking annoying. I just wish there was like some type of a cure for it, and there isn't. <sighs> but anyway, so I'm headed home now because I know I'll be having to hit the toilets very very soon so that is where I'm headed I will see you guys when I get there alrighty so I made it home safely without having to stop to go to the bathroom like I said earlier I just feel bad because I had to cut the like I felt like I cut the lunch short we were done eating um, but I just kind of felt like I cut it short because I had to go to the bathroom but feel so bad um can't help the fact that i gotta go to the bathroom but anyway um i wanted to show you guys really quick what i picked up at ulta um ulta was like in the same little shopping plaza as chewy's and i went ran in there really really quick and i will show you guys what i picked up uh let's see okay so first thing that i picked up because what the main thing that i went in there for was my urban decay eyeshadow primer this is what i basically went in there for um i love this stuff this is like the best eyeshadow primer ever um it just put a little bit on my eyelids and of course eyeshadow and my eyeshadow doesn't like come off or crease or it flake off or anything like that so i've been using this stuff for quite some time it is a bit pricey well it, it's actually 24 bucks i think but anyway i absolutely love it so actually i can tell you exactly how much it is urban decay 24 dollars. that's exactly how much it is all right so the other thing that i picked up while i was there i'm almost out of my pacifica c s e a and c the letter c love vitamin serum a vitamin c with marine extracts all skin types they're good 
down trees back there and um, every time a big tree falls it freaks me out because they just they go and they all sound they crash and bang and boom and then it shakes everything so it just like freaks me out just a little bit all right anyway back to my my back to my little Ulta haul um anyway I picked up some more of my serum this is the stuff that I put on my face every single time I put makeup on. Um, before I put makeup on, I actually spray my face with um, like an SPF, um, like face spray mist type of thing. It's so good. It's the Kula, C-O-O-L-A. I got that in a FabFitFun box a couple of years ago, and I just keep ordering it online, Amazon, um, because it's just such good... Um, a, a, such a good facial mist. I absolutely love it. And then then I put like this serum on and then I'll put another little face primer on or whatever. But anyway, love this stuff. So good. This stuff is $16 for this little bottle, but it lasts a very, very long time. That's why I'm surprised that I'm almost out because it lasts forever. Um, I picked up three different types of mascaras. One that I'm actually currently using right now which is this one and i actually like this mascara the only thing that is really weird about this mascara is that it has a very weird odor it smells bizarre um but it really really does work and it really like lifts up my eyelashes so i wanted to grab another one because i knew that the one that i am currently using is almost gone but um love that i do like that mascara and then i picked up two other mascaras that i'm actually wanting to give a try this one is the essence and it's called what the fake and it's just a little cool looking packaging i love the way that it looks and then i haven't seen i didn't open this up in the store um but that's what the little um brush let's see if i can get the brush so you guys show you guys the brush kind of what the brush looks like there we go um just kind of like a little angled brush but anyway i'm excited this one doesn't smell like the other one does the other one stinks um but anyway so this one is called oh let me tell you how much the other one was this um this is by l'oreal by the way let me see l'oreal mascara Black is black, $13.99 for this. And then this one, the Essence, is $4.99. So we have like a, a very kindly expensive one, I would say $15 for a, excuse me, $14 for a mascara is pretty pricey. Um, and then we have a $4.99 one here that I'm gonna give a try to. And then the other one I have, which is the Revlon Big Lash. This one is um, in the blackest black or black. Um, this is Big Bad Lash by L'Oreal. Excuse me, Revlon. And it is $9.49, so $10. So kind of like a three different like price ranges there. And then the last thing that I got was a new makeup palette by Tarte. Um, these are all the colors that are in this palette. I mean, look how pretty. These are like... These are like my colors, like perfect color palettes for everything. I didn't take it out of the box yet, but the packaging on it is so pretty and I love all of the colors. There's another tree. But look how pretty that packaging is. I mean, that is like such a really pretty packaging. And um, I just love, love new palettes. So that's what the colors look like. Very like, very light. Ooh, and it smells so good too. Very light and all perfect like colors. I love that. So pretty, I'm so excited to like use this. Love those, and this was, how much was that? That was Tarte Palette, $45 for the Tarte Palette. So um, yeah, so I spent $123 total on some makeup at Ulta, but I totally wanted it and I needed it so and that's kind of what happens it's like Target when you go into Target and you only get one thing you only need one thing and you know you're gonna come out of there spending like $200 <laughs> happens at Ulta too but anyway so that is it I hope that you guys enjoyed Ooh, there goes another tree <laughs> they're so loud and they fall dude it's like oh my god and that one kind of like twisted those are so scary Oh my word. I just, the tree fall, the trees with them falling is so scary. They have cleaned it up back there so much. Like all the trees that were like up here are gone. It's so sad. But 
Oh, that's just what you're gonna get when you live in a subdivision where they're still building new houses. Um, Anyway, like I was saying, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me um, the past couple of days. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs>